My name is Jim Jordan, and I'm a celebrity fashion advertising photographer. When I was a kid, I always felt like I was gonna do hair and makeup for every movie star in Hollywood, for magazine covers. I love transforming things and taking the ugly duckling girl that's 5'10 in eighth grade, who's picked on every day, and showing her how I see her. I went out and got a little business card and I had my name and phone number and I'd skateboard and hitchhike to all the high schools around where I lived. So I would do the makeup and the hair and swing them upside down and put a fan in their hair and put mascara on them and get these incredible pictures out of these girls and they would look at the pictures and say, I can't even believe that's me. It just was like, this is what I'm here to do. So I ran on my skateboard. I was like, now I'm gonna make money doing this. And I was going crazy, finding talent, doing hair and makeup in all the pictures I was taking and getting models signed left and right by agencies. And the model agency said to me, why aren't you doing hair and makeup? The hair and makeup you're doing in these photographs are incredible. We can tell you're good, but why don't you go to Milan and Paris with some of these models that are, you're finding that are being sent over to Europe? So I had $2,000 to my name. I saved all my birthdays and Christmas, and that was all the money I had to my name. And I uh, go to this huge glass building in the middle of nowhere. And it's the most architectural, beautiful building. It's Condé Nast in Italy. So I went and I showed my pictures, and I met this magazine, Grazie, and they're like, hey, can you work right now? We have a makeup artist that didn't show up, so I just started making up the girl, doing her hair and makeup right then. I was on set that day I went there, I started doing cover for Grazia magazine. Long story short, I became really good at it, and I became really successful, and a year later I went to that agency. I said, hey, I'm back and here's my book. And they're like, we cannot believe you've done this. And they're like, we want to represent you. Signed a contract with them. Two days later, they called me up and they're like, JJ, you're booked with Burt Stern shooting the cover of Red Book magazine with Heather Locklear. The next day, I would get a call. JJ, you're shooting Molly Ringwald for the cover of Time magazine. I was doing Whitney Houston and Farrah Fawcett and Molly Ringwald and Arnold Schwarzenegger and Kurt Russell and Jeff Bridges and Tatiana Petit. And so when I would sit in the makeup chair with Cindy Crawford for two hours talking about our lives and our hearts and making them up and doing their hair and just getting deep with these people. And I go, Cindy, can I take pictures of you? I go, I got my back, my camera, my backpack. So I'd get her come out of the water, fix her hair, and I'd go, go off, like do stuff for me that you don't show anybody. And I'd be like, T -t -t -t. like it was fun and we could be creative and it wasn't a job. And we, I would just be like, amazing, amazing, amazing. Not knowing what I was doing, but knowing I was having fun with a friend. And I started burying him in a box in my closet and I never showed anybody. So all the models would say, why don't you guys just have JJ shoot? So the owner of J. Crew came up to me, I used to cut her hair and she goes, JJ, I hear that you're an incredible photographer and I have this box of prints. So she opens it up. And my first pictures in my book was when I was 16 in Italy, these Italian rugby players and they were all muddy and, and I did all these portraits. She goes, hold on a minute. She gets on the phone, she's like, Renee, this is Bonnie Winston in New York and I'm about to sign a photographer that is so amazing that I will never ever call you again to see another photographer. That's how sure you're gonna love this guy. So I go back to LA and she calls me and she's like, Jay, this is Bonnie Winston, are you sitting down? And I'm like, yeah. She goes, I just booked you on a 16 day job for Bloomingdale's. So I'm shaking a week later. I'm like, I'm so scared, I'm so scared. So I go back to New York. I skate up to the post office and there's two big motorhomes, like 25 people, a huge crew of people. And there's this beautiful girl sitting on the curb. And I'm like, I'm Jim Jordan. She goes, oh, you're JJ. And she stands up, she goes, I'm Renee. She goes, I'm the art director and I'm the one that hired you. She goes, I want to tell you why I hired you. She goes, when I saw your pictures, she says, I saw something in these people's eyes that you photographed and it was different and I wanted to meet the guy who these people were looking at like that. Look at detail, you have to know everything. 
If the hair is bad on a shoot or the clothes are bad, it's not the hairdresser's fault. It's not the clothes, it's the stylist's fault. It's, it's the photographer, the director, the visionary. It's all about paying attention to detail.